With more on the move to the Big 12, as well as other topics, here's KGUN 9's Pat Paris, who sat down with U of A Athletic Director Dave Hickey. You probably never in your wildest dreams would have thought back in your days in Oregon that this conference would be breaking up like this. And we'd lose the regionality of a conference, too. Yeah, there's no way. I don't think you could ever imagine it. Uh, look, I'm a, I'm a kid from the Midwest, um, love the Big Ten and the Pac-10, um, and, and that joyful day on January 1st where the two greatest conferences ever came together and played football, I waited for that each year. And um, there's so much tradition, history, and story lies behind that. I just, I just never could imagine that we would have reached this point. But um, new adventures, yep. new roads to travel, um, and we're going to embrace every moment of it. A, a little regret that the, the, the Rose Bowl was never a destination for, for our football team. That's a tough one. Yeah. That's a tough one. How much, it, how much it means to all of our fans. And I uh, always wanted to be here when that could happen. Um, but uh, maybe there's something bigger and, and better for us in the, in the future. Um, but uh, that'll be one thing that I guess we'll look back on and say, boy, wish we could have done that. It's a pretty good time to be athletic director of the University of Arizona, isn't it? Yeah, to have two programs uh, at the very you know, highest level is really remarkable. And it's a credit to both programs, the coaching staff, the, the student athletes. Uh, but there's so much good happening. I mean, we're doing all of that. We've added a women's sport. We're growing. Um, we've got the highest grade point average in the history of the program, the highest graduation rates in the history of the program. Uh, so much positive going on. And then again, to be at the highest level competitively while still focusing on our mission of our student athletes and their overall success. That's very rewarding. The direction that this program is headed is obviously into a new conference. How is that transition going? Here we are, what, eight months out of basically, you know, uh, saying goodbye to the Pac-12 and then entering the Big 12. Well, we're kind of doing dual, you know, duties here. We're, yeah. we're living in, in the real time and then planning for the future and, uh, you know, lots of different meetings, planning sessions. We've got a transition team that meets generally on a weekly basis, uh, assembling data, uh, assembling uh, all the different destination points we need to go to, um, how we're going to evolve from where we are to next year to be ready, not to just kind of feel it out, but to, we've always said we're going to walk right in, be ready to compete on day one and be a premier program in the pack in the Big 12. Is football in particular, because that's what we're talking about right now, are they ready to go into the Big 12? Because it seems to me like they're very well positioned and, and, and ascending, and maybe it's a good time to go into the Big 12. Yeah, I think the, the growth of our program over the last uh, three seasons has been remarkable, and I think we're well positioned to go into the Big 12 from a competitive standpoint. I, I think the conference in general fits all of our programs very well, but we can lodge ourselves in there and be highly competitive. And uh, to carry the, the banner in with football as we open that next year will be very exciting. I think we'll be one of the teams that will be looked at as uh, an opportunity to compete for a championship in that league right out of the bat. A, a bit of irony that you're playing Oklahoma, who's leaving that conference at the same time. I, I don't know, you know what, what, what that says, but it's just interesting, isn't it, that you're playing in Oklahoma? There's always interesting matchups you know, when you get to a postseason and different storylines, and that's certainly one of them. But uh, I think it's a terrific opportunity for our program to be on a national stage, to sh show the growth, where we're positioned now to be successful long term against one of the most storied programs in the history of the game of football. And so that's exciting to me and I think it's really rewarding to our football program. Now you're into a conference that, that has just signed a new agreement. It seems like that that financially, uh, as far as the media rights deals, it's in pretty good shape. Well, it gives us a really stable home. And uh, that was important. As we looked in the landscape and things were, were, were a little bit unsettled, you know, we needed to make sure that the University of Arizona, this great program, could be competitive at a national level, get great exposure, but also have solid financial footing. And that the, the Big 12 provides that. Uh, the future is there for that. Uh, and we're excited about it. And it will only grow. Um, you know, again, the success we talk about in football, um, it's also going to be a pretty good basketball league. Um, the national exposure that it gets now with will be kind of through three to four different time zones. So there will be a lot of attention for the Big 12, and that's good for the University of Arizona. Yeah. It appears that there's no major, you know, shifts coming, no layoffs, furloughs, things like that. That has to be a relief. The landscape so, is changing so fast. Uh, we, we certainly need to pivot and, and learn new ways to do things. Uh, we want to make sure that our 
program as we move forward is on good financial sound mm -hmm. footing, and that's our goal. Um, we're going to look for ways to generate more revenues here. We have to look for ways to do new business in a different way, refine our practices, look for more efficiencies. But I think we all do that. We're reacting to that. We feel really good about where we'll be, and uh, we're, we're going to work right you know, with the university um, to put our, position, our program in a good position. Uh, finally, it strikes me when I see all these photos behind you. Do you look at that wall sometimes and, and, and kind of are in awe of, uh, at all of, of the tradition and history of this university? I am. I am. You know, I, I guess I, I start with I'm honored to sit at the desk and, and look at those things that have come before. That's our responsibility is to really, again, appreciate our great heritage and our past and the tradition, um, build on what is here, grow, continue with the great principles and, and the things that have happened in the past that have helped build the program. Um, it's a privilege to sit in this place and it's a privilege to be a student athlete. It's a privilege to be a staff member here. And our job is to serve the people that you see kind of a, a, on the wall, all the way back from the, you know, well over 100 years of, of tradition of people that have come through here. Yeah. Um, that's, um, that's pretty special stuff and you can't, you can't take that for granted ever.